Hey everyone, welcome back. Alright, let's see if we can do better in the next game. D4. You weren't supposed to play D4. Uh, well, rip. Uh, I kind of want to try D5. Getting the light square bishop out instead. I think I'm just going to go D5. I'm having pretty bad luck at high elo using this knight f6. Bishop g7 stuff against d4. And when I say high elo, I mean not 700. <laughs> high for me. <laughs> Low for you, high for me. Let's try like a mirror matchup thing here. Yeah, when I play knight f6, bishop g7, I always run into this problem where the light square bishop gets really trapped in, so. Okay. Thank you. Reasonable so far. Very standard Lon London system setup. weird going on here. Playing against another 950. I think the guy in the last game was also 950. I'm playing higher rated players. Kind of cool, kind of cool. I know this knight e4 move is really annoying uh, as black against the London system. It was at this point he knew he effed up. <laughs> I think playing the bishop move here is annoying. What's the play here? I think letting him take c4 is the play. There's the bishop check. Um, I don't know how good it is. I'm trying to remember. I believe that forces him to either block in with the knight. Right. I'm just going to go for the bishop check here. I think that's like the one annoying move. Yeah, it would have been better if I had my queen out. I'm kind of regretting not playing c6, just so I got a. Uh, could have gotten the check with the queen here. Also protects the pawn. Yeah, he defends with the knight. But that knight is pinned now. I don't think taking c4 is the idea anymore. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I think c5 is like the annoying move in this setup here. I could be wrong, but... I know for some reason when I play this setup, c5 is always a thorn in the side. I also could put pressure with this knight here on e4. I think that's actually pretty viable at this point. I'm going to have two attackers there. And the queen, or no, he still has two defenders. Well, no, let me think about this. Boom, boom. He could always take back. 
Hmm. Hitting the knight with the bishop seems kind of interesting. But... Um, I think c5 is the way to go here. But yeah, pinning this, so... Pinning f3 with the bishop on g4 is a really interesting idea. If I take that knight, if he goes h3 and I take it, he can't capture back with the knight. Uh, but he can capture with the queen. But even then, I don't know if that's good. I don't know. I'm going to play c5. Probably knight e4 next for some reason, I think. I kind of want to make a pledge in this video to not go for an attack until I've castled and developed everything. That's, that's my pledge here. We'll see if I actually stick with it. I think knight e4 is good, though. Maybe I should have went for the bishop trade on d6. I know that's a pretty common theme, is to get the queen out here to d6. Maybe I should have just done that instead. Could also go support the bishop over here with queen a5. And then like knight e4 and just an, unleash an onslaught. On this d2. But I need to castle first though. I need to castle. That's the most important thing. He has the check here, uh, which is kind of interesting. He decides to take. He had a really interesting move here. He had queen a4 check and then I believe he could have just won the bishop I don't know but he was in check here though oh no and then the bishop is defended by the c pawn so yeah I take that back okay never mind so probably yeah debating between getting the queen out or fixing the pawns Not necessarily fixing the pawn, but recapturing the pawn. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. This opens up some interesting ideas here. Hmm. I haven't really thought about what I'm going to do after this. <laughs> Maybe pressuring the knight. But I don't want to let his pawn advance. I'm just going to get the queen out. And probably a good idea to castle at this point too. He's very late on his castling. Okay. So get the knight out. And then castle. 
That's our castle and get the knight out. Yeah, he does still have the check on a4. So, yeah. Um, I honestly kind of just want to bring it back to a5 to just keep the pin locked in here. So let me think about this. If I go a5, he'll go b4. I recapture. He can recapture. The knight will be targeting. No, excuse me. The rook will be targeting the bishop once it gets onto a5. And then the queen won't be defending it. So I think that's kind of a problem. I think I might almost have to just take the knight at this point. Now let me think about this. No, no. I think a5 is okay here. No, I've kind of messed up because if he gets the check in, I have to block in and then he's winning the bishop. So I kind of messed up there. I think I should have just taken the knight. Yeah, I think a5 was a blunder. If he gets this off, it's going to be a bit devastating. But if he pushes b4, it's good for me. But I think I'm losing this bishop either way, though. Yeah, I think I've I think I've think messed up. I should have taken the knight here. Given him check and then just castled. Ah, regrets, regrets. What are you going to do? Yeah, queen a4 is really good for him here. Could offer the queen trade, but I don't think he would take it. If he pushes b4, we'll just initiate the trade with the pawn. Yeah. Let's just go for the pawn. What if I just push this up? No, I can't push up. I'm just losing. Uh, no, actually pushing up is really interesting. C4, his knight is pinned. So if he takes with the rook, it's going to be bad. And then I can protect A4 with the queen. I'm actually really tempted to just push C4. Or no, he has the bishop out here, so I can't quite do that. Um, Maybe just bring the knight out. I actually really want to bring the knight out. It blocks check, and then it develops the knight. Um, Let me think about this. He's got two attackers here. Maybe I just take... Hmm. I think I'm just going to take... I really need to castle... This bishop is really bad here. Well, I don't know if it's really bad. It's still pinning the knight, and he's still like two moves off from castling. So I guess it's kind of doing something. Hmm. I don't want him to play a4. That's like my main thing here.
If he takes the pawn, I'm just going to castle. The pawn's not going to be a big threat here. I did not see that coming. I can just block in this way. I think that's okay, actually. Mm. I'm actually quite happy about that move. Yeah, I'm actually really happy about that. That's way too aggressive, I think. It unpins his knight, but it gives me a really good chance to castle, I feel. Um, or does it? Uh, again, I can block in with the knight here. I think he's going to try to win this pawn. I can go for the queen trade and just bring the knight back. It's a bit awkward, or I can just block in with the knight. If I block in with the knight, he's winning this pawn. Not a big deal, but... I don't really like the idea of bringing knights back, and then I don't want to give up the rook either. Mm, let's think about this. Queen trade? Queen trade or block with the knight? You know, I'm up a pawn, so I'm just going to offer the exchange. I think I'm just losing this knight, though. He could actually win it pretty easily. Uh, no, because if I hop my knight back to d7, I can protect b8. Because he weirdly has two defenders here. Oh, that's a really annoying move. Oh man, I did not see that one coming. That's really unfortunate. Well, should have blocked with the knight, I guess. <laughs> ah! Feels bad, bro. I think I'm just losing a rook if I go here. Man. Uh, that sucks. What have I done? Unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, I should have moved the knight back. Really regretting that. Man, rook c8, what a move. All I needed to do was castle. I guess I could still qu castle. I can st <laughs> still castle, it's just going to be really bad. This is pretty GG. I'm just going to try some stuff. I don't know. This game's pretty lost now, so uh feels bad. The queen pin. I did not see that coming. Whoops. <laughs> 
I did not see that coming at all. Yeah, if I castle, I'm losing the defender for the knight. Yeah, this is rough. I do have check here, and I can win a knight, but I don't think it's very good. What am I really gaining by this check? Nothing. He just takes with the bishop. Man, I am just getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. Takes that knight, I guess. I can just take some consolation prize. Road to 800, day one. I'm losing a rook here. Mm. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna have to lose this knight. Yeah. Losing a rook here. Can try to maybe get his rook if he goes for mine. Yeah, I know it's an even trade or whatever, but I don't know. I don't think I had anything better there. Well, he's going to be forced to move his knight. But he's losing his knight wherever he goes. Well, not necessarily. Wow. Knight c6. Losing a bishop there. Damn. Man, that was a really tough game. After the pin, that was going to be really hard to win. Yeah, 95% accuracy. Jeez. I know I didn't play the best, but man, I didn't feel like I played like a 67% accuracy. But hey, the engine don't lie. <laughs> I'm really curious like how I could... Okay, so... Okay, these are all book moves so far. I guess this was okay. That's so funny. Taking the knight was the move here. Okay. I never play this setup as black, so I didn't actually realize taking the knight was a good move here. I guess the reason why that's a good move is because um, it prevents the knight from blocking in on d2. So that's a really interesting idea. Forces his rook out, and then I guess you can get the check, and then his king has to move, right? So he moves, loses castling rights? Mm, okay. I'll have to remember that. Um, yeah, I don't... Even when I do play against the London system, I don't see most people pushing this very early c4 pawn. Um, so I'll have to remember this. I've never... Even 
obviously I play all my games as uh all, all the games that I play as white. I play the lens system, but I never see anyone trading this bishop off for the knight on b1 here. That's a really interesting idea. So I regret not castling at this point. This would have been a fine place to castle. Um, I think I was getting too clever with this pawn push here. So taking with the pawn on d5 was the play. I wonder why. White's still ahead there. Yeah, this is where it fell apart. And I regret... <laughs> I was talking about it during the game. I regret not taking this knight because it was allowing for uh, the check harassment. Yeah, so not taking the knight was really bad. But honestly, rook c8, I never would have seen it coming. I, I just did not see that move. This was my only viable move here. Oh, pushing the pawn up. Oh, right. b5. Oh, I should have seen b5. That's really dumb. I, I should have seen b5. Right, because then where's his queen forced to go? Oh, but then he has... Oh. But it's basically inevitable at this point, right? What if I had blocked in with the knight here? This is even worse. Why? Oh, because he can harass the queen. Oh, so the queen's basically trapped at this point? The traps in the queen. Wow. Yeah, rook c8, man. What a move. Yeah, but even if I took with this knight, I'm losing the rook. So what was the point? Right? It was pretty lost. Honestly, I think no matter what I did, it wouldn't have mattered. But um, I think the biggest lesson for me here was take the knight on b1 if he pushes c4 and I have the bishop out here. Castle earlier. So for example here, I could have just castled and that would have prevented a lot of things. And then also here, this is where the game fell apart. I should have taken this knight because it would have given me check at least and then I could have castled. So there were some misplays there. But uh, hey, you know, you live and you learn and you move on. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it and see you in the next one.